Hey everyone, it's Yvonne. I am here with another poem to read for y'all. Um, this one I'm really excited about. It's such a great poem and it's so um, appropriate for the season. It's just really lovely. Um, so it's called November for Beginners and it's by Rita Dove. So here we go. Snow would be the easy way out. That softening sky, like a sigh of relief at finally being allowed to yield. No dice. We stack twigs for burning in glistening patches, but the rain won't give. So we wait, breeding mood, making music of decline. We sit down in the smell of the past and rise in a light that is already leaving. We ache in secret, memorizing a gloomy line or two of German. When spring comes, we promise to act the fool. Pour rain, sail, wind with your cargo of zithers. And uh, at the end, she it's written November 1981. So Rita Dove wrote this in uh, November of 1981. Um, this is kind of a shorter poem, but it's so great. Um, you know, there's this, uh, there's the idea of like this kind of purgatory feeling like this in between just like waiting for something kind of like to happen or some like more intense weather, you know, like snow would be the easy way out. Um, and you know, but the, the author saying like, oh, we stack twigs for burning, um, but the rain won't give. So like, there's no snow, but it's raining. So they can't like keep the twigs dry, um, dry enough to use them for, um, for kindling and for firewood. Um, and then, yeah, just like, so we wait breeding mood and that's a great phrase breeding mood. Like you're kind of just like, you know, we're in this like kind of moody state and it's kind of like a cyclical kind of like we're, you know, we're in this moody state because of the season and because we're waiting and then, you know, that moody state just kind of like makes us want to kind of continue that mood and, and be even more moody. Um, and then I love the phrase, we sit down in the smell of the past. Um, and that's an awesome phrase. Um, and it's also just very, um, very relevant to like, I think how a lot of people, at least in, um, at least in the Northern hemisphere, how a lot of people experience autumn slash fall. Um, I think it's a very, it's a very nostalgic season for a lot of different reasons. Um, you know, there's two major holidays, at least, depending on your um, religion and spiritual practices. But there's, you know, there's Halloween and then Thanksgiving. Um, and so you have the, you know, you have these memories from childhood of trick-or-treating and dressing up and Halloween candy and pumpkins um, and then Thanksgiving and like a lot of these, you know, a lot of these things are, um, a lot of these nostalgic things revolve around food, you know, like the food that we associate with Halloween, the candy, the candy corn, pumpkin, everything, you know, um, and then Thanksgiving, like all the Thanksgiving food. I mean, Thanksgiving is pretty much a holiday that is just about the food, <laughs> um, which is fine. Food is great. <laughs> I'm um, and, you know, so I think like we sit down in the smell of the past. So like, you know, smell is a big part of food. So, um, that, you know, also that seems like a big part of the nostalgia. Um, but then there's also like, um, just the smell of like, you know, I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about, but kind of like that smell of autumn and that smell of, um, leaves burning and dying and whether they're being burnt purposefully by people like you know raking up leaves and then 
you know, uh, burning them to get rid of them. Or, you know, the smell of chimneys starting up with fires because it's getting colder. Um, and then there's also just that smell of, um, that burning sensation, that burning uh, smell is also can come from just the leaves themselves decaying. Um, and I listened to a podcast recently that was talking about the like seasonal changes. It was talking about seasonal changes and um, the scientist that was being interviewed in the podcast was saying that, yeah, like that kind of burning smell that, that you smell, um, it's it's not always something that's actually burning. It's, it's actually the, the smell of death <laughs> of the leaves dying. Um, but it just smells really pleasant to us. Um, so I think, yeah, it's, it's a very, and, and it's also like, you know, fall is also, it's like time to go back to school. Um, and just a lot of things, you know, kind of, it's just another, like the start of another like cycle. Um, so it is just in general, you know, and, and the, the days are getting shorter. We're doing things differently, you know, we're wearing different clothes. Um, so it is just a very overall, like very nostalgic time, I think for most people, um, regardless of, of what you celebrate, I think like fall just holds a lot of memories for a lot of people. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we rise in a light that is already leaving, which is so perfect, you know, I mean, and I think a lot of people definitely feel this. It's like you wake up and the light just, you know, even if you wake up at 9 a.m., 8 a.m., like it, the light just seems like so weak. And and then, you know, it just kind of remains weak throughout the day. And then it starts going down at like 4 or 4.30. <laughs> um, and you're just like, what the hell? Like, I f you know, I feel like I barely got any sunlight today. Um and then if you're like me and you sleep in late, then, you know, and you wake up and it's like really late in the day, then it definitely feels like, like, oh, the sun just, I just did not experience the sun today. And it's, um, you know, and, and if you're in like the Arctic Circle or close to the Arctic Circle, it's even more um, like you're, you're not getting any sunlight. Um sorry, a notification popped up on my screen. Um, and then, uh, the last, uh, thing I wanted to mention was this, this lovely line of, we ache in secret, memorizing a gloomy line or two of German. And as a lover of German poetry, especially Rilke, um, that's also so appropriate, you know, um, just that, um, that classic German romantic spirit that is like, you know, it's kind of gloomy and, like, really introspective and kind of dark, but also, like, beautiful and, um, you know, often has those elements of the sublime in it and, and, um, praising nature and man's, uh, man's smallness <laughs> in comparison to nature. Um, and I think, you know, that type of feeling, uh, that type of feeling that comes with, you know, a lot of German poetry and especially like the German romantics. Um, it's very, it's also very applicable for the season and for a lot of the feelings that people are feeling because, um, you know, people often do get more gloomy and more sad, just like, you know, even though like the nostalgia is nice, but like for some people, the nostalgia can bring back um, memories that are not good. And then, um, it's just gloomier because we have less sunlight and like, you know, especially in America where like, we're already, um, our quality of life is already so poor because of, um, the way our government treats us and the way our culture treats us, um, and how much we have to work and be productive just, you know, just to survive. Um, you know, we just, you know, when we lose some of that vitamin D that we get, you know, in the spring and summer, it can be really intense for some people. And even for people that don't get an intense reaction to that, it can still like affect you, you know? And I've definitely noticed like, you know, in the late fall and like winter months, like, um, with my job, like people just don't, it's harder to book work because people just don't want to 
they don't really want to do things like you know they just don't want to be active and go out and it's just harder to get people to want to do that it's colder there's less sun um you know, and the, and it's definitely can be like a cultural thing because like, you know, I was reading an article talking about how like Norway has um, a much lower rate of depression than the U.S. Even though they get way less, um, they get way less vitamin D throughout basically most of the year than like all of the U.S. except for maybe Alaska. Um, so they're also like hugely missing out on a lot of sunlight and a lot of a lot of vitamin D. Um but a lot of the reasoning for, you know, why they're not as depressed is because of their culture and because of their, you know, their government um, provides for people more, you know, their uh, people don't have as much student loan debt. There's not as much homelessness. There's not as much, there's not as many people going hungry. Um, the communities are tighter knit, so they're taking care of each other better. Um, there's heavily subsidized health care so like you're not in medical debt you can go see a doctor no matter you know what your income level um you can get an education much easier there like um you know so it's definitely kind of a cultural thing as well so i you know i don't want to make any uh broad statements about like oh like everyone experiencing a lack of vitamin d is going to be like terribly depressed because that's not true but I think in a society where, like, we're already suffering, um, and, you know, it, we've been suffering like this for, you know, uh, most people in the U.S. have been suffering like this for, um, hundreds of years. So when it does get colder and, you know, um, colder and less sunlight, it's, it's very easy to get gloomy and, and introspective and everything. Um, but then there's also, like, the idea of, like, you know, fall and winter being a time where um, it's not necessarily just about like being depressed and being gloomy, but also about um, being introspective and going inward. Um, and that's something that like a lot of the, you know, the pagan wheel of the year and a lot of the um, pagan holidays, like the harvest holidays, um, uh, a lot of times that's kind of what is emphasized with this time of the year and these holidays during this time is that it's it's not so much about like you know the summer holidays and spring it's about doing things and being active and sowing seeds and reaping and um you know plant you know planning and, and and you know just being very active and and doing things um, but for a lot of pagans and a lot of witches and a lot of, um, I'm sure not, not just that as well. I'm sure, um, lots of other people too, this, you know, this time of year, it is, it's kind of like, it's symbolizing, you know, the time when you go inward more, you know, you think more, you're more, um, introspective about your life, about life in general, about your goals. And it's a time for you to kind of, um, really be, um, you know, uh, really be like evaluating things and being like, okay, like, where am I at? Where do I want to be? What can I do to make things, you know, make my dreams a reality basically and, and be where I want to be. Um, and it's a great time for meditation. It's a great time for journaling. It's a great time for just, um, being introspective, whether that means, you know, for you, it might mean meditation for others. It might mean journaling or doing lots of, um, a specific kind of exercise that really helps you to like get in touch with your body. Um, and kind of like be, you know, be feeling like you're fully living in your body and kind of coming into it. Um, um, energy work, you know, like inward type of energy work, all that stuff is really great for the fall and winter. Um, and I think, you know, I've been pretty much going on a huge long tangent from the poem for several minutes now. Um, but I think, you know, that's like what, you know, the, a line or two of German, like that's kind of, um, just one of the things that, you know, that brings to mind for me is just that idea of introspection 
um, which is just very applicable, applicable to um, November and this time of year in general. Um, yeah, and I love, you know, she's like, when spring comes, we promise to act the fool. Pour rain, sail wind with your cargo of zithers. So it's, um, it's, it's, it's great. It's, it's, yeah, it's kind of like, okay, now's the time to be wise and introspective and, you know, kind of quiet and, and inward looking. Um, but when spring comes, you know, we can just go crazy. <laughs> we can have a fun time again, you know, we can act more impulsively and, um, you know, we have kind of energy to spare and energy to burn. Whereas, you know, in the fall and winter, we're kind of more about like conserving things, um, which goes back to, you know, how, how people used to live for hundreds of millions of years, you know, they had to conserve things during the winter because, you know, you couldn't just go out and like, pick an apple off a tree or harvest your potatoes in January. Um, you know, it was all like harvest was pretty much over by October, November, depending on where you lived. And, um, you had to store everything and you had to rely on, um, just different foods that you were able to catch outside, but everything else had to be stored up, had to be, you know, pickled, um, meat had to be like preserved and turned into jerky and like salted meats. And, you know, you had to be careful. You couldn't just like, oh, you know, go out and grab whatever you want, whenever you want. Um, so I think that's, that's great that it's like, you know, it's, it's the cycle. It's the cycle of, of life and, and it's the cycle of the seasons and there's, you know, there's a time for everything and it's, um, I definitely see that being shown in this poem. Um, so yeah, that was a lot of commentary afterwards. Um, so this is a longer video than the one before. Um, let me know if that's too much commentary, if like I'm talking too much. Um, sometimes I just really like to talk about something and I can just go on and on. So let me know if you think I should keep the commentary shorter. It does seem like you guys, or at least one person, said that they did like the commentary, so I do think I want to keep doing that. But as always, um, if you do not like the commentary, or if I've gone on too long, I will not be offended, you know, if you just want to just listen to the poem and then turn it off afterwards. So, okay, this is a terribly long video. I apologize. Um, I'm gonna get ready to go to yoga and do some introspective stuff there. Um, I hope you liked this poem. I absolutely love it. I'm going to be putting the link to the poem in the uh, description of the video so that you can go read it. Okay, I'll see you all later.